Dan Delana Grills, we've got the Ninja wood fire out tonight. And uh, a lot of people have said, you know, because this uses wood pellets, and I've had a couple of people say, well, you know, I really don't care for the, the taste of wood. I prefer charcoal. And I was thinking to myself, why couldn't you use charcoal on here? And, uh, you know, obviously the size limitation is the biggest deal here. But let's take a closer look and see what we can do about that. So when I say size limitation, this is your this is your pellet hopper. Obviously, you're not going to get a briquette or anything like that into there. But uh, there are other choices. So here's that other choice. This is char wood, uh, char wood, sugar maple charcoal, and this is for a product called Flavor Q. I did a review on I think over a year ago, and this is something you put over your gas grill. Put these little pieces of charcoal. I'll show you what they look like. The whole bag is like that. A lot of us throw that away that's on the bottom of the Kingsford bag or, or the bottom of uh, our lump charcoal bag. But uh, this stuff is uh, made just like that for that product. I did a review on it. I don't think it worked very well, but for some reason I hung on to these bags. And uh, it was yesterday that I was cooking on this thing. And I said, you know what? What if? And that's what we're going to do right now. Let's uh, put some of that in that, some of this and that. Turn it on smoke, let's see what happens. All right, I got the, the chip char wood in there and we're gonna put that in here. Oh, I, got, I always do this wrong. Goes in like this, just like that. Now we're gonna fire this up on smoke and see what happens. All right, just turn the wood fire on and uh, <laughs> we will see what happens. All right, so if you're wondering where to get these, you can see right there, flavorq.com. Looks like you get two, uh, two two-pound bags for 25 bucks. I see it, a little bit of smoke coming out of there. And I'll tell you what, it don't smell like pellets. It smells like, uh, like charcoal. All right, so it just went off Ignite. I got it set at 175. I was just opening up. There, there isn't, you know, I wasn't expecting to be a whole lot of visible smoke, but uh, I can see a little bit there. Let's just open it up and see what we got here. Look at that. Yeah, there is some smoke there. And you know what? It's charcoal. <laughs> oh man, I think we might be onto something here. Uh, if you got one of these Ninja wood fires, we're gonna take this through and let it go. I got it set for 20 minutes. Let, let's see what happens after 20 minutes and then we'll see what's left in there. I didn't put any food in here because I had no idea if this would work. But those of you who prefer the taste of charcoal as opposed to pellets, this, or I should say this, might be an option for you. All right, five minutes into it, I can still smell charcoal. And, uh, you know, we'll open this up. Yeah, there's a hint of it in there. It's not, you gotta remember charcoal it's a little bit more refined, but I just want to see, I, you know, I ha have nothing to put in there to cook, but I just want to, I want to see, yeah, you see the smoke coming out of there? <laughs> is it working? I think it is. Oh man. Let's keep on going here for a couple more minutes. Uh, like I said, uh, this is all about seeing whether it will work and uh, the upcoming videos will show you uh, actually some food on there. It's uh, <laughs> you can you can see it, but you can really smell it that we are burning with charcoal on the Ninja wood fire, and it's I can't wait to try some food on this. All right, so I did bump it up to 300, and you can see we're coming down on the 20 minutes, and uh, I just want to give you a look, see once we're done to see what's left in there for charcoal and uh, everything else. Give me my final. All right, let's take a look, see. Well, oh, you can see, see some of the white there? That's where it's burned up. But there's still plenty of charcoal there that we can burn through. So that is impressive. It made it 20 minutes. I think it would make it a heck of a lot longer. Let me uh, try and pull that out and give you a look, see what's uh, what's left. So you, so you have a better idea. All right, using a needle nose. Let's pull it out of there and then pour the contents into here. And that's about what's left. Uh, not going to be much ash because remember this is charcoal. But uh, 
pretty impressive. You can see some of it is still burning. And uh, <laughs> that was 20 minutes. So uh, based on what was left in that, I'd say you could almost go for an hour and get good charcoal smoke. And remember, this stuff is uh, sugar maple charcoal. And I could smell a little bit of sweetness in there. It was pretty impressive. All right, so does this stuff work in there? <laughs> Heck yeah, it did. And I, I can't wait. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe a steak the cold smoke on there or even at like that you know 170 or something like that get a lot of this you know instead of the wood they get the the charcoal foot a lot of people like because remember, remember the pellets are going to be a mild light to mild when it comes to flavor but charcoal charcoal is going to be a little bit more than that and the sugar maple i could smell the sweetness in it pretty cool folks I'm telling you, we're showing you all these different options for the Ninja Wood Fire. Uh, the last video I did on this, I showed you using a uh, pecan pellet pellets that were crushed in the in the pellet uh, pecan shells that are crushed in the pellet pellets, and they worked very well. And today we're putting charcoal in it. That's crazy. Tom Horseman, YouTube, tell me what you think. I can't wait to use it and cook on it. Thanks for watching, folks.